Emax has a new racing quad out, the Apex Hawk. That means that we're gonna be taking it on the track at the world famous night spot. Now, as you watch all the other reviews, let's see if we can count on more than one finger the number of YouTubers that actually fly this thing the way it's meant to be flown on a track. This one goes out to all you studio racers out there. I'd like to talk about how a racing quad should feel, but do you actually know? Johnny here go! Today we're talking about the Emax Hawk Apex. That's right, Emax's next bind and fly released is coming out with a bang, and they're making a number of changes to their normal formula. Now, if you think this looks like a slightly revision of the Baby Hawk 2 HD, then think again because this comes in three delicious flavors: analog. HD Zero and DJI, of course. There are a lot of other changes to the formula as well. Now, Emacs is using their F7 all-in-one board that has a couple of little changes and tweaks. Um, I have the HD Zero version right here, along with Emacs's very small and light antenna at the back. There's two different versions of this. There's a three and a half inch that I have here, and also the five inch. Now, the difference between these and the previous models, like the Baby Hawk 2 HD, is that this is meant to be a little bit lighter, a little bit faster. There's a new prop. This is the Avia prop, not the Avan. There's a three and a half and a five inch version of this. Emacs has finally jumped on the Express LRS train. HD Zero is installed using their Whoop board and the HD Zero Nano camera, which has actually a very nice and adjustable camera mount system with a little bit of lens protection. You have Emax's new three and a half inch prop mated to some 2004 Eco 2 motors. Both Hawk Apex lines are going to use a 2004 Emax Eco motor 4S on the three and a half inch, but the five inch you can actually go 4S or 6S depending on what you would like to do. I saw the 4S in action, the five inch version, and it got five minutes of flying around the night spot. And by the time it landed, it was only at 3.7. So it probably could have went seven minutes. And that was on a, a tiny 850 milliamp hour 4S pack. I'd use the same 850 on this three and a half inch. It comes with a nice XT30 with a capacitor pre-installed for you. The previous revisions of these little baby hawks have been for long flight times and durability. This one gives you more power on tap and a little bit lighter package. So more geared towards park flying in a racing type manner, going a little bit faster and also having something that can get you started at the park, but also carry you through your first couple of races. Now, are you going to be able to send this thing 100 miles an hour into a gate? Uh, maybe, maybe not. The one piece bottom plate does concern me a little bit about full size gate hits. There's two schools of thought. Give somebody a full size 6S 5 inch racing machine that's probably going to be way too fast for them and they're going to crash just because they can't control the speed or something that can go fast but can also fly a little bit slower if you choose to kind of rein it in and this is a lot more maneuverable and allow you to fly that. Now we've always been chasing out after that, can you fly something smaller around the five inch track and be competitive? You're not gonna be winning the race with one of these, but I don't think you should want to. When you show up to your first couple of races, you just wanna be able to complete the day, get some laps, have control, fly without destroying everything that you brought. And because this is gonna be like half of the weight as a regular success racing machine, just by having less inertia alone on those hits means that it's probably going to survive. And when you go to your first few events, the key to remember is just just make it through the course so just have your focus be on the gates sometimes you don't have to go finish fast shit, oh, you just have to no, not press. and this is really going to allow you to do that there's a lot of control in this little machine power to spare i was able to kind of put this thing through its paces i did crash a couple of times and these props are pretty tough so i was able to kind of bend them back but keep in mind these are the t-mount props with the two screws so if you are going to take this on a racetrack probably get a couple of extra props but that's not different than we would do with any racing machine just in case guys just in case if you're starting out you probably don't need that many spets but definitely have some spares I really like this new motor size i've been wanting to build up a three and a half inch four inch with a 2004 size
specialized motor that I haven't gotten around to it. So Emacs beat me to the punch. Now this is a brand new Emacs receiver. So pre-release, it wasn't available in the Express LRS configurator. When it is out, you can probably just do the update flash bind that you're normally used to. But before that, you can do the three plugin. What's up guys, Cornell from Emacs. And today we have the Hawk Apex. And this thing is gonna be a beast. You know how exactly this thing works. <laughs> All the Emacs products fly very well but they don't always have that super fast punch that you want to be able to raise they all have like a really nice feel and a lot of control but this one has a little bit extra when you want to go fast more speed and so if you wanted to start off slow learn to fly in a park keep it lightweight and then go to your first race and not have to buy a whole new drone. We pretty much wanted three and a half inch to be that good middle ground from like a beginner who's maybe coming from like a two and a half inch, like the freestyle tiny hog and wanting, you know, something with an actual oomph to it for racing while they're too scared to bump all the way to a five inch. Cause you know, five inch drones can be really scary. And if you make an accident, that can be pretty gnarly. So three and a half inch is the perfect sweet spot for just an everyday carry as well is a really good travel drone and i personally prefer this especially when you're in a tight racing course but now with hd some people know that they're probably going to want to dip their toe in if you have larger places to fly and you want to go a little bit faster maybe get the five inch version but if you want to be able to go and be a little bit quieter when you're at the park the smaller one's gonna work just fine. Emacs has really been a presence in this game since this is the Baby Hawk R four inch that I really, really like. This thing is actually faster even though it's three and a half inch because the motors are just a little bit wider. This is really nice and it has a lot of low end grunt, but the 1606 motors on the um, this one from about two years ago just couldn't really keep up in the long straight punches. This one though has a lot more punching speed. This is a 4SKV, the five inch version, which has a very similar design, is available in 4S and 6SKVs. It has Emacs's very small antenna for the video transmitter system right here. Um, these beautiful 2004 motors give you a lot of power and efficiency and check this out emax's own express lrs receiver here inside of their custom little receiver holder that sits comfortably on top and a, their own brand of special 2.4 antenna it is a single plate design for instance here's emax baby hawk r4 inch right here uh, you can see it's a similar prop design uh, these are actually larger and more powerful motors that should actually give you a lot of efficiency as well you can see here the evolution from something like this the emax analog baby hawk r4 inch and they've kind of departed from the plastic guard right here and gone for a more traditional top plate design. They've made all the nice touches, the Emacs wire cloth tape to like make everything nice and neat. Probably the first HD Zero racing style build by Fly out there, one of the first.
you see this new Emax? This Ooh. is a racing. It'll probably end up about half as much weight as a regular 5 inch. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So it feels pretty sturdy too. And so we'll see if this is the only review where they actually take this racing version through some gates. <laughs> in, in like racing. Right. Well, I was just watching you fly it a while ago. It looks really good on the track. And like, how does it feel? It could definitely be in the mix. Yvonne mid aired me and it still kept going. Yeah, it looks like Always just looking at your game. props. It's already taken some hits, but like still, still rocking. Nice. People want to start off like something they could fly at the park and then maybe oh, go to a perfect. race. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fly to park or like backyard flying. This is perfect. Something like this is good because you start on this to like build up your confidence, but then this won't hold your skill back. Like you can fly right. this all the way through all your skill levels. Once you can fly this, then you can fly like a full powered quad also. Nice. That's cool. Nice. I'm gonna count yeah, how many yeah. times Neil said nice. Yeah. Yeah. If it's like more than five, <laughs> it's real nice. But if Neil ever said interesting, then it's bad. That's bad. We're gonna go back and yeah, count. Go back, <laughs>